Now's the time you've all been waiting for, I'm finally going to be making my trailblazer weapon as well as showing you every single step of the way how I'm going to augment my weapon in order to hit that 200 power to take advantage of that S1 ability. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe. We're so, so close to 20,000 subscribers. So please help me out here. Thank you. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So first of all, disclaimer, this is not the end all be all best way to affix or augment or do blah, 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 blah. This is just the way that I'm doing it for this specific case. All right. So if you guys do have better or cheaper formulas, feel free to share it in the comment section below so that everyone else can also benefit from that. Anyway, with the disclaimer out of the way, let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to open up my inventory and you're going to see here that I have all the different weapons that I need in order to make my Starquake weapon. However, if you're a little bit observant, you'll notice that, hey, Caro, that's a profound saber. That's a gun blade. You don't have a katana. And the reason for this is because I'm going to be swapping it to a katana. I was able to find this off the market with 8 slots which I need for my weapon for relatively cheap. And so I'm going to be making my profound saber or gunblade into the starquake weapon, upgrade that into the trailblazer weapon, and then swap the trailblazer gunblade into a trailblazer katana. So let me show you that right now. So we're going to talk to Ziggs. It's a melee weapon. It is a gunblade. And right here, Star Quake Saber. So I'm going to click on that, exchange. Over here, it's going to have all the different items that I need to put in. So the most difficult part was, of course, getting the Void Fragments. You need 150 of these. If you just farm regular mode, like the 12-man version, you get around 5 to 8 drops-ish. I'm not entirely sure how many you get because it goes straight into my material storage every time. But that's about the average. And then when you run the four man version, I think it's like a consistent 10 every time. Keep in mind, this is on extremely hard and not on ultra hard. I don't know when you're watching this video, but when ultra hard comes out, you're going to get a lot more. Now we get to select our base weapon. This is very important. Make sure to select the base weapon with the augments you want. So for me, my base weapon is going to be the Profound Saber because it has eight slots and I need the eight slots. OK, and now it's going to come up with this page saying that, hey, you're going to be taking the augments out of this one over here, your Profound Saber. Are you sure? I'm going to be like, yes, exchange complete. So now if we zoom all the way out, press I, you'll see here that I have my Starquake Saber with eight augments. All right. Now we're going to talk to Ziggs again, go to melee, go to gunblade, and we're going to exchange that into our trailblazer gunblade. We're going to exchange right here. We're going to put in our gunblade, our founder's amphitrite, which we got from the mission pass from season nine, and then 400 X cubes. I have 2000, so no big deal for me. And then I'm going to click exchange. It's going to tell you over here, hey, you're exchanging all of these items into your trailblazer gunblade. Are you sure? I'm going to click yes. Boom. All right. So just to double check again, I press I, voila, I've got a eight slot gun blade here. Now, this is the big brain part, or at least I feel really smart about it, but I'm going to go to the change weapon category. I'm going to go to the trailblazer weapons here, and I'm going to find my katana, which is right here, the trailblazer katana. I'm going to click on this exchange, I put in the gun blade. I put 999 gold and 999 staff hearts exchange and yes. And boom. Now you guys can see here I have an eight slot trailblazer katana. So now there is a problem with this katana. And what's that problem? It is the augments. You can see my augments are all over the place and I don't need any of these. I need to get 200 melee power. That's my one and only goal. So now I'm going to lead you over to my second monitor where I show you what exactly I'm going to be doing. So here we go. 200 power for dummies PNG. Right here, what I want you to see is the final items over here. We're going to break it up into different colors, okay? So we've got the orange color, which is our light stream weapon. This is the weapon that we just made, but we're going to put some augments onto this weapon. Then we've got the red piece of fodder over here. We've got the yellow pieces of fodder, and we've got regular fodder three and four. 
The reason why 3 and 4 don't have a little box is because we don't need to make these fodders. So for those who are unfamiliar with the term fodder, it is basically we're making a weapon in order to feed into the lightstream weapon in order to get certain stats that we want. So if we scroll to the very bottom, this is the final result. So our trailblazer weapon is going to have S1, S2, and S3. It's going to have three S abilities. Then we're going to have graceful might, we're going to have might 5, apprentice soul, persona reverie, and modulator. So this is the final result that we want in order to hit 200 power. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be augmenting my trailblazer weapon. So if we come to the orange box right here, it breaks it down on how exactly we're going to be doing this. First of all, we're going to need three weapons with eight slots with Historia Soul. We're going to smash that into our trailblazer weapon so that it gets Historia Soul. So for my visual learners, I'm going to just show you in game so that you're not totally lost yet. So first of all, I'm going to see over here in my storage, I actually have all the fodder prepared. So over here, you can see that I have three weapons with Historia Soul. You can see right here, it says right here, Historia Soul, yay, okay? So I'm going to be taking all three of these out. Then the next thing that I need to do is I need to unlock them because I will be using them as fodder. And now we talk to Monica. So we're going to go to Affix Augment right here, select our base weapon, which is going to be our Trailblazer weapon. And we're going to put in all three of these right here. One, two, and three. Then we're going to click yes. And right here, the first thing that we want to take is our S1 ability. And then for the other stats, none of them really matter except for the Historia Soul. The reason why we want the Historia Soul is because we're going to be using that later down the line. So right here, we can just pick whatever stats we want. So I'm just going to pick all the 100% ones because it just makes my life easier. Now I've got S1 Melee Amp, I've got Historia Soul, which I wanted, and then the rest is just fodder. And it's 100%, so I don't even need any augmentation boosts. So start a fix and click yes. Boom, success. So now we've completed step one. Step one was to get S1 Melee Amp onto the weapon, as well as Historia Soul. So let's hop over back to our flowchart and let's see what step two is. So step one was simply put the three Historia Souls into our Trailblazer weapon, and we've done that. So step two is we're gonna combine our Trailblazer weapon with five separate fodder. We're gonna have a Historia Soul fodder, another Historia Soul fodder, and three fodders with Might 5. And the reason we're doing all of this is because we want our Trailblazer weapon to have the S1 ability up here, as well as Might 5, as well as Historia Soul, so that when we combine this with all the other pieces, we'll get that 200 power. Please do keep in mind, it looks very easy because I have everything prepared. Like half of the battle is just getting all the little fodder pieces that you need in order to do your augments. Once you've got all the pieces, this is the easy part, just smashing things together. So again, I need Historia Soul, so I'll need a total of two with Historia Soul. So this one has Historia Soul and this has Historia Soul, so we'll take these two out, retrieve, and then we need Might. So we need a Might 5. Alright, once you've taken out all your fodder pieces or bought all your fodder pieces or made all your fodder pieces, next thing you want to do is unlock all of them because we're going to be feeding them into the weapon or smashing them together. Then we're going to talk to Monica again, go to Affix Augment, we're going to select our base weapon, which is our Trailblazer weapon again and we're going to put in all five pieces. And right here, again, make sure to put in Melee Amp because we want that. And then we wanted Historia Soul, so make sure to put that in. And then we also wanted Might 5. So you can see over here that Might 5 only has a 70% success rate, which means we will need a 30% augmentation aid in order to make it a 100% chance success rate. And I'm definitely going to be doing that because you don't want to take any risks when you're smashing everything together after you spent hours and hours and hours collecting all the pieces you need. So these were the three stats that I cared about. All of the other stats don't matter. The reason for that is because we're going to be replacing these with better augments. So we're just going to pick any random one that gives us 100% in these slots for the rest. And right here, boom, you see? So everything's 100% except for the Might 5. So we're going to click Start a Fixed Augment and we're going to put in a 30% aid to make sure that everything is 100%. Then click Yes. Alright, so now our Trailblazer weapon has Melee Amp, Historia Soul, and Might 5. These are the three stats that we wanted on our Trailblazer weapon as you can see here in the orange box. You can see Historia Soul, Might 5, as well as the SSA, which is the S1 ability. Alright, so we're done with the orange weapon for now. Let's move on to the red weapon. So the red weapon over here, we need SAF Modulator. So we need a weapon which has 8 slots and has the special ability factor of Modulator 
And what we're going to be doing is we're going to also have Apprentice Soul and Persona Reverie on it. So the chances of finding this on the market is 0%. No sane person would sell this unless they're selling it for millions and millions of meseta where it makes it not worth it. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to scroll down here and please don't freak out. Yes, it looks really, really stupidly complicated, but don't freak out. All right. So because it is augmentation week and we get that extra 10%, we could ignore all of these steps right here. And we're just going to be using the yellow box over here. So yes, it still looks a little bit complicated, but it's not as complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our base weapon with the modulator special ability factor. So you can see here, this is my base weapon. The reason it is the base weapon is because it has the augment factor modulator, which I'll need because it gives me this 30 melee power. But this weapon does not have Historia Soul on it yet so i need to put that on right i'm going to go to a fix augment i'm going to select my base weapon which is the allure weapon i'm going to slap in three historia souls over here so the three historia souls will give me 100 percent chance of getting historia soul modulator because it is an saf it is always 100 percent then I'm just going to fill the rest with other random stats, which I don't care about because I'll be replacing these augments soon. So modulator, historia soul, these are the only two stats that I really cared about. Then I'm going to do start a fixed augment. Everything's 100%, so I don't need to do anything. Just click yes. Boom. Everything's done. All right. So this is my base weapon. So now if we look at our sheet over here, we're going to need fodder one, two, three, four, five. So we need three fodders with apprentice soul, eight slots as well as two fodders with Persona Reverie 8 slots. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that out of my storage right now. So you can see that these three highlighted pieces right here all have Apprentice Soul and they are eight slots. And then as for these two pieces right here, they have Persona Reverie and are eight slots. So we're gonna be smashing all five of these weapons into our Allure weapon so that we can get the Reverie as well as the Soul. So first of all, we want the Modulator. Then we scroll down and we can see Apprentice Soul as well as Persona Reverie, right? So we're going to take Apprentice Soul, Persona Reverie. Then we're going to fill the other slots with random augments because we don't care, but we're going to be replacing them very soon anyway. So you can see right here that Persona Reverie is only 60%. So you will need a 40% augmentation aid to push this up to 100%. So I'm going to do start a fix. I'm going to throw in a 40%. Everything's 100%. And yes. Boom, success. So now the second piece of the puzzle is complete. So we're going to lock that because we're not going to touch that yet. So we've got piece one, which is our trailblazer weapon. We got piece two, which is our allure weapon. These two pieces are done. We're not touching them until we complete all the other pieces. So piece one earlier was orange. Piece two was red. So all we got to do is piece three, four, five, and six. So these two pieces are already done because I just needed to buy these off the market with might five and eight slots. This was very easy to do. However, for the yellow box over here, we're going to need to do a little bit more work. We're going to need Apprentice Soul as well as Persona Reverie on these two pieces. So let's scroll down back to our yellow box right here. And you're going to see right here that we need a base with Historia Soul. And we're going to need two Persona Reveries and three Apprentice Souls. This is pretty much exactly what I just did with my Allure weapon. However, the base weapon does not have the modulator SAF. That's the only difference, okay? So again, I'm going to pull out all the fodder units and show it to you one at a time. So right here, you can see this Dio weapon has Historia Soul. We're going to be using this Dio weapon as our base weapon because it has Historia Soul. Then I'm going to scroll up over here and you can see that these three pieces right here all have Apprentice Soul. And these two pieces over here have Persona Reverie. Okay, so again, I'm just going to smash them together. Nothing scary here. Don't worry. So I'll go to weapons and I'm going to pick the one with the Historia Soul, which is the Dio weapon down here. Pick that as my base weapon. And then I'm going to smash in these Dio weapons in. Um, make sure not to uh, accidentally throw in your allure weapon over here or else you will be screwed. So always lock the fodders that you're done with or even better just put it in your storage or tick hide locked items so you don't accidentally use them. Okay, it's very, very important not to mess that step up because if you accidentally use that fodder that you spent hours collecting the materials, it's uh, it's quite the setback. Okay. So we're going to click confirm over here and let's say that I totally forgot what augments I needed. That's why I have the second monitor here with the spreadsheet, with the flow chart, with all the pictures in order to remind me. So we can see here, oh right, fodder one, we needed apprentice soul and persona reverie. So okay, I remember what I need to pick up so we can go back in game. All right, so it was apprentice soul, so we found that and persona reverie and we found that, right? 
these were the two stats that we wanted everything else doesn't matter so we're just going to pick any of the ones that are 100 percent since we're going to be replacing them anyway now do keep in mind persona reverie only has a 60 percent chance success rate so we're going to need to use another augmentation aid 40 percent all right so start and put in your 40%. Everything is 100% now and click yes. All right, now the third piece of the puzzle is complete. We're gonna repeat the exact same process in order to make piece number four. So again, make sure you lock the pieces that you're done with so you don't accidentally use them as fodder, okay? So we're gonna take out our Historia Soul over here. You can see that I have a Historia Soul eight slots. Then we're gonna find our Persona Reveries over here, which are eight slots, number of augments, and it's these two weapons right here. Let's just double check Persona Reverie, Persona Reverie, exactly. So we take these two out and then we find our Apprentice Souls and eight slots right here. Let's see, Apprentice Soul, yep, one, two, and three. We take all three of these out, great. Then the next step is unlocking all of them so that we can actually use them as fodder. So down here, please, please double check and be extra careful. You can see that, hey, these are all Dio weapons. They all have eight slots. But remember, this is piece three out of the puzzle. We don't want to unlock it and use it as fodder by accident, all right? So just double check, triple check, quadruple check every single time. This is the one that we want to unlock, and this is the one we want to unlock. All right, so this is our third piece. We don't touch it. Apprentice Soul, Persona Reverie, we wanted this, all right? So we leave that alone. Now we can talk to Monica. Again, go to Affix Augment, and we need to find the one with Historia Soul. Yep, this one has Historia Soul. We can see right here, it says Historia Soul. So we're using that as the base piece, and we're gonna smash in all of these over here and click Confirm. Now again, we wanted Apprentice Soul and Persona Reverie. All right, once we pick those two up, the rest can be fodder. We're just going to pick any of the 100% ones because it don't matter. All right, so now we've got all these 100% over here. Again, Persona Reverie 60%, so we're going to need to use another Augmentation 8 40% to bump that up. And yes, and boom. All right, so that's done. So don't forget to immediately lock the piece that you've done so we don't accidentally use it as fodder. We're at the home stretch now, we're almost done. You can see here we've completed all four pieces over here and we've only got two more pieces to complete. And these are simply Might 5 with eight slots. Once we've completed these two pieces, we're gonna combine all of these together in order to complete our final weapon. So let's hop over in game and show you that. So we're gonna go to my storage and we're retrieve item. We'll type in Might 5. And eight slots, you can see I've got one right here, the Jutus weapon, which I will be using as my fodder, as well as a Val Valua over here. So now I know some of you guys may be freaking out that I'm using a Val Valua, but the game gave me too many Val Valuas, so I just decided to use it since I did get that from a draw, okay? So I will unlock all those items, the Jutus weapon, unlock, the Val Valua, unlock, and these are my two weapons with Might 5. And now is the final set where I'll be mashing everything together. So I'll unlock my Trailblazer weapon. I'm gonna unlock my fodder pieces over here, my three fodder pieces, unlock all. And now is the final stretch. So again, we go to Affix Augment. Our base weapon, this is very important. Don't mess up your base weapon. Your base weapon is the Trailblazer weapon. It has to be the Trailblazer weapon. Do not mess up this step. If you mess up this step, all of this hard work, this 47 minutes of this raw recording will have gone to waste. So please, please, please don't mess this up for my sanity, okay? Make sure you click that as your base weapon. Then this is the easy part. You just smash everything together, all right? Then we're gonna click confirm. And before you do anything here, check the little sheet that you made. This is why it's so important to plan ahead before you start augmenting because it's so meticulous and there's so many steps and it's so easy to get confused that you really don't want to mess things up. So let's hop over to the sheet just to double confirm what we want. So we can see here final result. We want the S1 ability, S2 and S3. Then we want Graceful Might, we want Might 5, Apprentice Soul, Persona Reverie and Modulator, all right? So you can see here that I already messed up. Thank goodness I checked the sheet before I did anything. So for the smart cookies out there, you guys may have noticed that I forgot to bring out the capsule in order to get Graceful Might. So I'm gonna zoom out all the way back here. I'm gonna go back to my storage. I'm gonna need to receive my melee and pp3 over here which will give me graceful might 
So I'm going to retrieve that. And then now I'm going to go back to a fixed augment right here. I'm going to make sure I don't mess this up. I click on the Trailblazer Katana as my base weapon. I smash in all five pieces and I go confirm and it's going to ask me, hey, you've got Graceful Might. Would you like to use it? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. And you can see at the very top, I have Graceful Might. Then I want to put in Melee Amp as my S1 ability. I want to have S3 Aggressive Will as my S3 ability. Remember, the S abilities you can put in any time you want and you can swap them out at will. You don't need to go through this entire augmentation process just for the S abilities. It just so happened that I was using a Val Valua, which had an S3 ability, and that's why it shows up here. I'll show you guys how to switch out S abilities after I'm done with my weapon. Then, of course, I'm going to pick up Modulator. Then I wanted Might 5, I wanted Apprentice Soul, Persona Reverie, and then over here you'll notice that, hey, there's an extra slot, what should I put it? And what I'm just going to put is a random stat. So before you guys freak out, it's because I'm going to be putting an S2 ability which will replace this slot, alright? And that's why I'm putting a random stat over here. So now before I click on start a fixed augment, I just want to double check everything because you don't want to mess this up. So S1 ability, this is going to be the S2 ability. This is the S3 ability. Great. So I've got modulator, might five, apprentice soul, persona reverie. And thank goodness I just checked because I messed up already. Do you see over here that this is precision one, but I don't need precision one. What I needed was my graceful might. Thank goodness I double checked because if I click start a fixed augment, I wouldn't have gotten my Graceful Might and I would be crying. So now if we just look at my second monitor, just to double check, Graceful Might, yep, I got that. Might 5, yep, I got that. We've got Apprentice Soul, yep, we got that. We got Persona Reverie, yep, and we've got Modulator, good. Then we've got S1, S2, S3. So we're good to go, we got the green light, we can click start a fixed augment, and right here, we're gonna shove in a 30% in order to make everything 100%. And we're going to click yes. Boom. Everything success. So we're going to see right here. You're going to see here's my trailblazer. We go to the third page. Bam. Melee 200. Which means melee amp is active. We get the extra 2%. So now we need to switch out stamina 1. Because we don't need stamina 1. We need an S2 ability. So what we're going to do is we're going to look in my storage and find an S2 ability. But before that, please lock your Trailblazer weapon. You don't want to accidentally toss this somewhere. All right. So now we're going to talk to Monica. We're going to go to storage. We're going to retrieve item, all storage, and we're going to type S2. All right. So these are all the weapons with S2 abilities that I have. This has the Lustrious Strike and Lustrious Moonleaf. I don't need that. Lustrious Strike, Petal C and unfortunately we don't have any good s2 abilities to put on um i guess we could put in the lustrous strike just for more pp recovery not that i really need the pp recovery but i'm going to put it onto this weapon just to show you how you do it all right so if you just want to shove in an s ability onto your weapon it's a lot easier you talk to Monica or Dudu, and you just go to Transfer S Grade Augment. You don't need to go through the entire process of Affix Augment that I just went through, okay? Just click on Transfer S Grade Augment. This is your base weapon. Don't mess this up again. This is your base weapon. Make sure to click on your Trailblazer weapon or whatever your base weapon is. And then you're going to click on the fodder piece, which is the Val Owls over here. And you can see here that I want S1, S2, S3. I want my Modulator. Graceful Might, Might 5, Apprentice Soul, Persona Reverie. You'll notice here that, hey, I'm not picking Stamina 1, and that's because I've replaced it with my S2 ability, which is Lustrious Strike. All right, so we're going to go to, to next item. So it's going to say that, hey, you're going to be destroying Stamina 1. Are you okay with that? I'm going to be like, yeah, sure, I'm fine. And right here, this is the second weapon, which is the Val Owls. We took away S2 Lustrious Strike, so it doesn't have that anymore. So it only has Mastery 3. And it's going to tell you here that, hey, this weapon is going to downslot. Are you okay with that? You say yes. And then over here is just going to double check with you, telling you that your first item, which is my Trailblazer weapon, this is what it's going to look like now. It's going to have the S2 ability and all of these stats. And my second item, which is the Val Owls, is only going to have Mastery 3 left because we took away its S2 ability. And we're going to click yes. Boom. Complete. So now you'll notice that my Val Owls no longer has the S2 ability on it. It just has Mastery 3. So we're going to throw that away. Goodbye. And over here, our beautiful shining Trailblazer Katana now has Melee Amp, Lustrious Strike 2, Aggressive Will. 
as well as all the other stats over here, which got me to 200 power. And so all you need to do now is press F5, goodbye Ophistia weapon, it's been good while it's lasted, and we're gonna put on our Trailblazer Katana, and oh my goodness, look at this, it's gonna give me 279 more melee power. Like sure, I'm losing some other stats over here, but I'll make all of this up later on with the Trailblazer units, and I'll fully augment those later down the line. So let me just take off my weapon camo so that we can actually see what the Katana looks like. Look at that. It's a freaking beautiful sword, but you know, we're not going to end the video here. We're going to do a short DPS check. Hello, calculation mode, please. Stationary. 2.4 million. So overall, that's not too bad. I'm very, very happy with the DPS increase that I gained from this weapon. But do keep in mind, I went through extreme lengths in order to capitalize on that S1 melee amp. If you are a more casual player or you simply don't have the resources in order to get an 8 slot with all these fancy augments or you just don't want to augment, it's perfectly fine to just make the Trailblazer weapon just for the Photon Resurrection, which is its potential. This simply recovers your PP fully and increases your potency by 3% for a set amount of time, but you can use the Trailblazer weapon just for its potential as a PP battery, stick with your Atlas EX weapon, deal tons of damage on that. When you're low on PP, switch to the Trailblazer, boop, you're full PP again, switch back to your Atlas EX and continue to beat up the boss. It's perfectly fine. So I still highly recommend people to make the Trailblazer weapon as a secondary weapon. However, if you're a little bit more ambitious and you want to use it as a main weapon and you don't want to use any other weapon, then you can fully augment the weapon with all the bells and whistles. And I'm sure you guys can probably get a lot better stats than me. I went this specific route because Meseta was a little bit tight and I wanted to farm everything beforehand. That way, when the Trailblazer weapon came out, I was able to make this weapon relatively quickly. I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys because I've been recording this for the past hour and 10 minutes. And then in post edit, I'm gonna have to spend many, many hours to cut this down to make it digestible and make this video actually make sense. I know that augmenting or fixing sounds super, super complicated. And in a sense, it is. It's more time consuming than complicated. You just got to spend a lot of time making sure that you've got everything planned out and you know exactly what pieces you need. That way you don't get confused when you're actually augmenting things. And uh, that's usually when things go wrong. When you get confused, you forgot what you needed to do and you just smash random pieces together and then you realize that, oh, I messed up and then you're in trouble. So just make sure if you do plan to do any augmenting or any affixing and you're not familiar with things, just take it slow. There's no one rushing you to augment your weapon faster. All right. There's no benefit from augmenting your weapon faster either. You can just relax, take a deep breath and do everything step by step. It helps a lot if you have like a little flow chart or a word document or something so that you can just look at when you do get lost and just be like, all oh, right, I remember what I needed to do. Put A with B together, so forth and so on, and just slowly work your way through it. OK, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heels